Hey everyone, this is your favorite realtor guiding you step by step. First, I want to say that my prayers are with everyone in the state of Texas. Also, I want you all to keep my family in prayer as we lost someone that's very, very dear to us, our dear cousin Valerie Moore. We, you will truly be missed and we love you. And to my family, you guys stay strong. Um, I want to start off by talking about pre-approvals. You guys, once you get approved, first off, congratulations. But once you get approved, make sure you ask the lender to give you, along with your pre-qualification or pre-approval letter, a loan estimate or a fee sheet. And what that fee sheet does is break down the cost for you to get that loan, along with the origination costs, whatever costs are applied to, to get that loan, and also have your, your what your initial interest rate is. However, your interest rate will not be locked until you have a, a contract. So don't be fearful of that, you guys. So once you get your credit report pulled, the first time, the first initial credit report pulled, you have 30 days from that to search for mortgage score. Now that's a mortgage score now. If you go apply for a car loan or credit card loan, that's a different score. That gonna affect your, your credit score differently. You will take a hit because you're not searching for a mortgage score. So the thing I want to just say, don't be afraid. You have done the work. If you got approval for one loan offer, you can get approved for another one. But you want to make sure that you give someone a call that you trust. That So if you have questions, ask them. If you feel a certain way about something that don't feel right, that's your gut instinct. Reach out. You know, Just don't settle for the first loan approval that you receive. That That's the best interest rate for your score. Um, this is Gloria Frazier guiding you step by step. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.